Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning, everyone. We have an expression in the West, that whiskey's for drinking and water's for fighting over. And given that the hearing today is the first major hearing this year on California water, and that California and Arizona have a long history of fighting over water that dates back to at least the 1920s, I brought some whiskey. And before we get to fighting, I would like to propose a toast. <laughs> May God bless this hearing. May we make progress here today so that Congress can finally provide some form of relief for drought conditions and from policies that are crippling Western communities. And finally, may the extreme environmental groups and others that are holding back common sense solutions and comprehensive westwide drought relief legislation that passed the House last July finally put the interests of small businesses, farmers, and American families ahead of the interests of a three-inch fish. Let the fighting begin. Cheers. So, <laughs> now today's hearing is about bringing sanity back to our federal policies that have put thousands out of work and fostering accountability to the Endangered Species Act and the bureaucracy charged with implementing it. The Bureau of Reclamation's multi-purpose water projects made the West what it is today. Generations of our prior leaders focused on the need to capture water and to deliver it to cities and fields. These were nonpartisan endeavors, as evidenced by the video that we're gonna see with President John F. Kennedy dedicating the San Luis Dam in California. Go ahead and play this. On behalf of the people of the great state of California, the President of the United States. <laughs> this valley and others like it across the country, where we can see the greenest and most richest earth producing the greatest and richest crops in the country, and then a mile away, see the same earth and see it brown and dusty and useless and all because there's water in one place and there isn't in another. On behalf of the people of the great state of California. Right. Now, while this, now while the Central Valley Arizona Project came after President Kennedy, it continues to pro bring prosperity to Arizona cities, tribal communities, and ranches almost 50 years from its inception. The Glen Canyon Dam and other projects affiliated with the Colorado River Storage Project provided the backbone of a regional economy that produced year-round water and emissions-free hydropower. Lake Powell, the reservoir behind Glen Canyon, allowed for millions of dollars worth of recreational boating annually and even provided the scenery for the astronaut crash landing in the 1968 science fiction classic, The Planet of the Apes. For years, these, those bent on destroying the Glen Canyon icon tried the frontal assault by trying to get it torn down. The so-called environmental community has, all, has gotten much more creative by actively litigating against dams and the federal agencies that operate them with the goal of making them effectively useless. This is happening with the very dam that we just heard from in John F. Kennedy's dedication. The litigation tool in this case has been the Endangered Species Act, and the little three-inch fish called the Delta Smelt is this subject today. Biological opinions challenged by the environmental litigation industry have made even worse by the court actions and federal agencies terrified of further litigation. These federal plans have created a situation where communities who thought they were going to get more water in an El Nino year are now faced with potentially less water than last season's dry year. Meanwhile, federal scientists have already killed at least 120 Delta smelt, more than the, more than the equivalent of 12 impacted by the, the Delta pumps this year alone, or 10 times more and double the amount with the water being released to the ocean compared to last year. And that's why this House passed comprehensive westwide drought le uh, relief legislation last year. It helps California, but it also helps the entire West by ending the paralysis, paralysis by analysis through regulatory streamlining to build more storage, water storage, protecting state water rights, and allowing water users to prepay what they owe to the federal government. This effort was four years in the making and now has a chance to get it and other policies over the finish line so that we can start returning to a policy of abundance. This hearing is part of that long-term goal, but it also serves as an immediate step to help those most in need in California. I welcome our panel of witnesses and look, back, look forward to today's hearing. And with that, I yield back, Mr. Chairman.